Hey, Tactical Painter on Out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop. Welcome back out to my shop. Today we've got a theme pen. We've got this awesome Oregon Ducks blank. So it's green and yellow that I cast up, which I'll show you the video on how I did that. And then we're also going to be combining it with this Gold Sierra pen kit. So stick around and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we got our Oregon duck blank chucked up in here, so we're going to measure off. Look at that, that side's actually pretty neat. This is uh, green and yellow, as you saw. I put a little silver in there to make it reflective, and it sure turned out cool. So we're going to measure out and see exactly how long we need to cut this off at. So we're going to mark it right there. We'll cut off right at that line, and then that'll give us our, our blank for making this up. Enough there to make on a whole new pen. Get this flattened off. There we go. Even get a little bit of a dimple for the Brad Pitt to kind of go into the center of. We're going to mark where this index is before we get too far into it. That way we know exactly where to chuck this back up later. Drill this with a 10.5 millimeter because we're doing an acrylic so we don't have to worry about it shrinking back shut at all after we drill it. So if you drill it with a 2764 like is recommended then your hole ends up way too big and so you drill it with a 10.5 millimeter when you're working with an acrylic or a resin. That way it's a very precise hole and there's no extra wiggle room that you have to then go and backfill with CA glue. We've got our Oregon Ducks blank here set up, ready to go. We've got our hole drilled out, got a good clean hole that goes all the way through. We got a sneak peek at the inside and saw that we definitely have gold and yellow swirling through there. So it's going to be pretty neat once it's turned around. And so we're going to go ahead and get this put together. Um, we've got our barrel here needs to be roughened up. And so we've got some 100 grit sandpaper that we're going to use to roughen this up in order to give our adhesive something to adhere to. Clean that off. All right, we'll grab our thick CA glue and we will run a bead 
the full length of this tube or the full length of this tube this barrel rather Alright, we'll hit that with some activator just to seal it in place. And then we'll come back and we will backfill with some thin CA glue from the back side in order to make sure that we have perfect closure between the barrel and the blank on the inside. Okay, now we just need to backflow our thin CA glue into our gap here that occurs between the, the tube and the blank uh, just to make sure that we don't have any blowout or any explosions while we're turning it so just got a little bottle here thin CA we're just going to backflow into that gap in order to make sure that we have a, a nice good turning experience so we just put a drop in there and we just watch it disappear to the inside and then we just another drop and it disappears to the inside and we just keep doing that until it's all gone or until all of a sudden it won't soak in anymore All right, so you see all the fluid that's hanging out there toward the top. That means that we are full. So we will hit it with some uh, activator in order to seal that in place. And that'll be good to go. All right, we'll let that sit overnight, and then we'll come back later. All right, we got our Oregon duck blank chucked back in here. We're going to go ahead and clean it off. Uh, we'll true up the face on this end, flip it over, true up the face on the back side, and then we'll be ready to turn. All right, I see brass. Flip it around. Find a way that our barrel runs true. All right, I see brass. Back that out. Good clean face there all the way around. There too. All right, we're ready to turn. All right, we got our Oregon ducks blank chucked up here. We've got it in between our, our bushings, so let's go ahead and get this turned. We've got the lathe turned up to 3,700 RPM. Let's get it going. We'll get this area cleaned up and we will come back and we'll hit that with some polish. Alright, let's get to polishing this bad boy. So, we got the lathe turned down to 1250 RPM and we are just going to get this wet polish. I'm going to start out with this green polishing paper and then I'll move on to my polishing pads.
Would you look at that? That looks neat. I like it. Alright, uh, let's see. So we're down to our bushings on both sides. Don't see any lines or any tool marks that I have to contend with. So I just have to get out the scratch marks from that last polishing paper. So we'll get onto our polishing pads. Well, now would you look at that? That is absolutely beautiful. Nice, gorgeous polish on it. Get you a closer view. Nice reflective green, reflective yellow in there. That silver powder sure does dupe some beautiful stuff when it comes to uh, making it reflective. You can't can't see any of the silver in there but it, you can definitely tell the effect that it has as the light goes across it. Let's go ahead and hit this with a little bit of Dr. Kirk scratch free. Just simply get a glob of this on there. Just a little glob and just wipe it over the entire surface. Buff it in, do circles, you can do lines back and forth. Use a clean section, buff some of it out. Alright, now just grab a small fresh patch and just buff it off. All right, time to assemble this Oregon Ducks pin. So we're gonna get this put together. Now the Sierra kits are really simple because you only really have to decide one thing. Where do you want your clip to go? That's all you have to worry about is where you want your clip to go. And I've already figured out where I'm gonna put mine. There's one section on here where you can kind of see through to the brass tube. And it's this big yellow section right here. All the rest of the yellow areas have reflective silver in them that, that hides the brass tube. But this one long section here, you can kind of see the brass tube through it. So we are just going to take our clip. We're going to cover that up just like so. We'll press that in place. And then you will not be any other wiser. See, now that brass tube is well hidden. And now all we have to do is assemble our lower assembly. Take our ink, put our spring on. Now these springs have a wider section and a smaller end. The smaller end, which is this end, goes onto your ink refill. You press it into place and then it catches on the bottom of the ink and you see it holds it in place just like that. Then you just simply put it inside of your lower assembly, thread on your transmission, and it only fits one way in there so you gotta kinda find it and then it pushes in, threads on, and then you just press that in, and there we go. Check that out. Nice reflective green and yellow spots all around it there. Kind of looks like a, like a green and yellow flame just dancing in each other. It's pretty nice. Really happy with this. It's got a real nice smooth transmission. Opens and closes real easy. Yeah, that turned out great.